going to do it. Three, two, yay! And I wanted to show you this as well. So I'll go over into the natural lighting. Um, I'm taking, oops, I'm taking this course at UCLA and it's for pre-dental students. I took the lecture series last year and that last two quarters they actually printed this for us which is super nice and the the paper quality is amazing so i'll show you what we did the first lab we did a class one prep and amalgam restoration so class one is on the occlusal surface of the tooth so that's the top of the tooth um, where you chew and that's with the back molar and we did it with i forget what tooth number let me see oh it was number 19 and so we just keep this it's ppe put that over your clothes um they also gave us safety glasses and what they gave us a drill and this course is about 200 dollars for the lab portion so it's totally worth because you get hands-on experience you get to improve your manual dexterity by learning how to drill so this is the drill. Um, you can't really drill by yourself because you need to plug it into um, this thing right here, which is in the laboratory or clinics. Um, so yeah, it's just an empty drill. And this is where you put the burrs on. You just have to push it. It's actually really hard to push this thing down, but the burrs go in here and the burrs, the drilling part of the handpiece so we got several and they each have different functions um i don't know what this is for if it focuses this is the drill it just goes in there and then these are fake teeth um okay this one was really bad i guess this was a class three prep class five prep class five because it's on the lingual side. <laughs> so for the class one prep and amalgam restoration, this is what we did. Um, this was my first time drilling, so it was really hard for me to create a smooth surface on the inside of the tooth. This is like what pattern you're supposed to drill into. And they have different names. So, for example, this is a good slide. Um, there's the dovetail, isthmus, and fishtail, and then the groove extension. First, I drew on the tooth. These are made out of plastic, by the way, because they're just for practice. Um, but I drilled the isthmus first, which is this outline. And then I went to do the groove extensions, which are in between the grooves of the teeth. So it's easy to follow, except I didn't really follow it that well. <laughs> Um, and then there's the dovetail and fishtail. So it kind of looks like a dovetail, a bird tail. Um, and this one looks like a fishtail, but um, on my tooth, you can't really tell which one is which. But yeah, this is the first tooth that I drilled and restored, so I thought that was pretty cool. And the next week we did, we did class five. Okay, it was class five preparation and composite restoration. And class five is the cervical third, which is the bottom, oops, it's the bottom of the tooth. So that'd be near the gingiva, which is your gum line. So it's like this part or lingual surfaces of all teeth. I remember it lingual, like linguistic. So your tongue, because you speak with your tongue um, and that's like the inside of your tooth. Yeah.